Hey guys, what's going on? We recently played some popular VR bowling games, Forever Bowl on the Quest 2 and Premium Bowling on both the Quest 2 and through Steam VR on the Valve Index. There's so much to say about these games that we wanted to do more of a comparison between the two. Hopefully this video will be helpful in making your decision. So which of these bowling games is a solid strike? Sit back and relax while we fill you in on the details. First, let's talk about the overall appearances of these games. Both Premium Bowling and Forever Bowl have really great but pretty different graphics. Premium Bowling looks way more realistic. The Quest 2 can't compete graphics-wise with the Valve Index, but we'd say that they did a good job on both platforms. The Quest 2 has an overall lower resolution, but we had no issues enjoying the graphics when we played it. The Valve Index did a great job of adding an incredible amount of sharpness, but wasn't really necessary. The last thing to note is that Premium Bowling went with odd-looking avatars that are similar to Phasmophobia in looks. They also only offered pre-made avatars, so we weren't able to make our own customized avatars, which was just a little disappointing. Forever Bowl had a much more animated look overall and was really fun to look at. The graphics had lush colors, lights, a nice polished look, and we instantly felt comfortable with the opening tutorial. You can even make completely gorgeous avatars through Oculus's Avatar Maker, which was an awesome addition to the customization. Now let's talk about the gameplay. You'd outright assume that every bowling game is the same in regards to the physics of bowling, right? That's just not the case here though. We played a few VR bowling games up to this point and hands down for now, Premium Bowling has the best and most comfortable approach to bowling physics. Both games have specific mechanics for how to bowl. They both integrate oil patterns to help you direct your ball. They also both allow you to choose your bowling balls. In Premium Bowling, the ball stats are based on weight, hook, and length. In Forever Bowl, it's based on weight, spin, speed, and profile. This is encouraging because it means that every throw is going to have different outcomes based on a number of factors in both games. In Forever Bowl's lobby, you can choose your bowling ball bag with up to five balls and it explains exactly what weight, spin, speed, and profile mean and do. This is really helpful and adds to the overall experience of going bowling. Premium bowling more so has a menu where you can quickly swap balls, but lacks any spiffy tutorial like Forever Bowl. Everything we've explained so far is important, but in the end, a bowling game has to feel natural. This is where it currently looks rough for Forever Bowl. From the moment we picked up both games and started playing them, it was painfully obvious how lacking the physics are for Forever Bowl currently. One of the issues was in the fact that the trajectory of the ball in Forever Bowl was difficult to manipulate. We know how to bowl. In Premium Bowling, we instantly started bowling and hooking our shots and figuring out the oil pattern and having a total blast. Our gameplay footage is linked above, so check it out. In Forever Bowl, none of the hooking or bowling physics seem to be consistent. We're just not sure if this is a bug or if anyone else is having the same issue with this. But Kelly and I were scoring 120 plus in Premium Bowling, whereas in Forever Bowl, we had issues breaking 50. This is a travesty because overall, Forever Bowl looks gorgeous and we wanted to love it. We would say that both games have a ton of replay value. It's sad that Forever Bowl locks balls and alleys behind level gates though. As you bowl, you level up and unlock more balls and alleys, but you can't use them until you reach a certain level. We found that a bit annoying and think that everything should be unlocked and usable with your current level right away. Some players may feel frustrated at having to grind to get access to all the content. Premium Bowling is everything unlocked right from the start. Both games allow you to play single player, multiplayer with one headset or multiple headsets, friend games, and open games. The one cool thing in Premium Bowling is that it even allows for leagues and team games. Now we need to discuss options, because options in a VR game are important. 
Premium bowling's options are indeed insane and the level of customization from graphics, sounds, to visual feedback on your bowling performance and even stats are awesome. We found it helpful to enable show hand trajectory so we could see where to let go of the ball post throw. It's clear why they call this game premium bowling. Forever Bowl does indeed have some options, but nothing to the degree of premium bowling. You can select to see the oil pattern, throw line, and change sounds. However, it's pretty limited in Forever Bowl. In premium bowling though, the options are indeed premium. All right, now that we've gone over the pros and the cons of these games, it's time for our overall thoughts. Forever Bowl is an incredibly gorgeous Quest 2 game. We felt that the bowling physics are a little odd at the moment. It has plenty of unlockable content if you don't mind the grind. Plus, there was some pretty awesome music to keep you entertained, achievements to keep you working hard and getting better, and a mostly simple avatar and multiplayer system that we loved. We'd like to go back and play it again if they nail down the physics consistency so that we could play and have fun without the frustration. Premium Bowling is exactly what it says it is. This is the primo bowling experience you currently want, but it lacks the fun animation and graphics that Forever Bowl has. We had no issues jumping into the game and having a total blast because the physics are spot on. There are even a ton of ways the game assists you in learning to play and what you should work on. You have to wonder if the unlockables and fancy avatars are really necessary when gameplay is this great. There are also a bunch of alleys, the music is great, and the multiplayer only had a few hiccups. We were able to cross-play with the Quest 2 on Oculus and Steam VR with the Valve Index because the game has an in-game friend system that allows you to play with friends or random players, which is a great addition. In the end, the choice really is yours when it comes to what you want in your bowling game experience. Both games are $20, and it's clear that Premium Bowling's time on the market has given it a chance to polish its gameplay, whereas Forever Bowl still feels like there's plenty of kinks to work out. We hope that Forever Bowl will keep rolling out updates, so drop a comment below if you would like an update on how the game is doing in the future. You can also subscribe if you want more content like this delivered directly to you. Now, we love co-op and multiplayer games, and we're going to continue playing and reviewing most of the new ones that come out on Oculus and Steam. If we had to make a recommendation at this time, it would be to wait for Forever Bowl to get updated physics, otherwise get premium bowling as we just had way too much fun playing it together. Please consider dropping a like as it really helps the YouTube algorithm promote this video. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in, in the, the next, next game. game.